Hello, welcome back to Chemophilic. Today I will be synthesizing an organic compound known as chloritone or chlorobutanol. It is prepared from acetone and chloroform by base catalyzed reaction and the mechanism is here. I require three chemicals which are acetone, chloroform and crushed sodium hydroxide. I took two measuring cylinders, a 100 ml measuring cylinder to take the acetone and a 10 ml smaller measuring cylinder to take the chloroform. I took the chemicals and now it's time for the setup. A conical flask of 100 ml is kept in a trough. Now I prepared an ice bath and inserted a thermometer to record the temperature. Then I poured the acetone into my conical flask and I waited the temperature to fall down around 5 degrees Celsius. I waited for 5 minutes while the temperature fell down to 4 degrees Celsius. Then the chloroform was slowly added in parts in order to keep the same temperature. The temperature recorded was around 6 to 7 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to add the crushed sodium hydroxide. It was added in portions as the reaction being exothermic can raise the temperature above 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature now was around 10 degrees Celsius. The mixture was stirred with glass rod for around 30 minutes, occasionally each 5 minutes. I got a cloudy solution which was mainly due to the excess unreacted sodium hydroxide being insoluble in the organic medium. Hence, the solution needs to be filtered to get rid of the excess NaOH. I set up a gravity filtration which took me around 20 minutes to get the filtrate. One needs to have patience during gravity filtration because it is a slow process and hence vacuum filtration can be used as a faster alternative.
the filtrate was still a bit cloudy and I did a cotton bed filtration again. Precisely slide bed filtration would have been more perfect. Then I set up a hot water bath to boil off the excess acetone from the mixture. Both acetone and chloroform boils below 60 degrees C and can be removed easily by boiling. The vapors of acetone is evolved and you can perform a distillation setup to condense back the vapors and use it later for cleaning purposes. The temperature was around 60 degrees Celsius. Finally, the mixture was reduced and cooled down to room temperature. Then I took around 100 ml of chilled water in a beaker and poured the organic mixture into it. Immediately, the chloritone separated out as the white oil and some crystallization took place. Then I kept it in the refrigerator for 2 hours and now the chloritone was completely crystallized. I decanted off the water and chloritone was kept for air drying for 10 minutes. The dried product was finally transferred to an airtight container. My final yield was 62%. Chloritone has a higher vapor pressure so it sublimates out in room temperature and it must be kept in cool places to avoid losses. Chloritone was used as a hypnotic but it has ill effects on liver and now replaced by safer alternatives. It is also found as an active ingredient in mouthwashes and some medicines for its antimicrobial properties. Like, comment and share if you find the video informative and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you.